Welcome into your ESPN Headline. I'm Tony Collins, joined by NFL insider Adam Kaplan. Adam, the 25 semifinalists for the Pro Football Hall of Fame have mm -hmm. been announced. And the first-year eligibles are Marvin Harrison, Walter Jones, coach Tony Dungy, and linebacker Derek Brooks. When you read this first group of guys, what are your thoughts on them? Boy, it, it's amazing that you've got mm -hmm. Derek Brooks and Tony Dungy, a guy in Brooks who was coached by Dungy. And quite frankly, I don't think that Derek Brooks would have been the great player that he came out to be if not for Tony Dungy, who ran that cover two. Derek Brooks played the weak side linebacker spot. That's where the tackles get funneled. And Derek Brooks is probably one of the smartest linebackers in the last 25 to 30 years. And if someone's going to get in the first time, I think Derek Brooks deserves mm -hmm. consideration. Now, for the rest of the list, were there any surprises for you? Not on the initial list. Mm -hmm. uh, it, there's no question. Marvin Harrison, to me, in fact, I didn't realize he was even available, uh, eligible mm -hmm. now because it just seemed like he retired a couple years ago. But you're talking about a player who put up unbelievable numbers. The Philadelphia native Marvin Harrison, just incredible with the pass targets. Very durable for most of his career, Tony, but then mm -hmm. in the last couple of years of his career, he had knee problems. But this guy is absolutely, to me, a Hall of Famer. Adam, who do you think will be a lock on this list? It's a good question. You, you never see it because you know how Chris Carter, everyone thought he would get in the first time. Mm -hmm. You never really know if there's a lock, but I would think Tony Dungy, for everything that he's done, okay, this guy is not only important to the NFL's players, but off the field, how he's mentored young mm -hmm. people. If there was ever a coach who means more to coaching and just being a good person and helping people in the time of need, I think Tony Junji should get the most consideration out of that group. There you have it, NFL Insider Adam Kaplan with the insight. For more of Adam, make sure you catch him on NFL Insiders at 3 p.m. on ESPN. I'm Tony Collins with your ESPN Headline.